Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. <sighs> my family and I are about to head to the pool because it's hot outside and that's why I got my bikini on. But I just wanted to make a quick video for today sharing why I think raw till four or fruit till four or fruit and sugar till four is the best diet to follow. So there's a few reasons why I feel this way. One, when you have fruit and sugar, it's like super light on your digestion and it doesn't give you like that heavy feeling and that's mainly because the meals are comprised of simple sugars. So it goes into your body, it's high water content, it digests quickly. It doesn't take a lot of energy from your body for the meal to digest, that is fruit and sugar. And you just get the energy and your belly is nice and flat and you go about your day. And most importantly is that you, your energy remains high because you're not having to sit and you know digest your food so that's why like fruit for breakfast fruit for lunch with added sugar sugary snacks you know beverages is in my opinion the best because you can generally you're more active during the day and it actually allows you to be more active so then you end up you know boosting your metabolism by, through activity so the sugar fuels the activity that increases the metabolism, which leads to uh, body fat burning over time. And then you have your starch meal at night where it's more savory, it's more volume, you know, you might have lots of vegetables with it, big, you know, lots of starch, and it's a heavier meal. It takes longer to digest. I notice that when I have a starch meal, uh, I feel really good afterwards. My belly, you know, gets, a, I get a little food belly, a little food belly. It's all good, you know. It's necessary if you want to restore your glycogen. That's the thing about starch is I feel like starch, because it's more complex carbohydrates, it is the perfect fuel for your overnight fast to replenish your glycogen stores because it's denser and it takes a little longer to digest so then you relax and you know you go to bed two three one hour <laughs> prior or after having your meal um, and you're getting more variety the more variety of carbohydrates you have in your diet the more you're going to eat and the more energy you get from that food so it's not boring <laughs> she's probably getting ready for a nap I know. <clears throat> so um, there was something else I was going to say about the starch meal. I love having both. I get all my sweet in, pri you know, before my starchy meal, and then I have my starch meal, and that's when I get the savories. And usually after my starch meal, I'm good. I don't need to have something sweet after, unless I haven't eaten enough calories, and then I will have something like sorbet or lemonade or Sour Patch Kids, <laughs> something like that after dinner if I didn't hit my sweet quota for the day. And then I also like to go for a little walk, clean up around the house, water the garden after dinner. I feel like just doing a little bit of something helps with digestion. Drink water. Um, that's another tip too. If you wanna avoid having dental issues with a high carb diet, just make sure you're hydrated. Rinse your mouth after your meals. Brush your teeth in the morning, brush your teeth before bed, floss before bed, and you're good to go. The worst thing for your mouth is to let it get dry. So you wanna have water with you all the time. This helps so many things. Water is essential, carbohydrates are essential. Those two are the most essential nutrients in my opinion. Makes everything else work so that you can utilize the nutrients from, from your food. So um, I hope this video is helpful, just sharing my tips and experience following Rod Till 4, why it's my favorite. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.